serikali itanza msako dhidi ya magari yote yanayotekeleza majukumu ya uchukuzi wa umma ila hayajapewa vibali hivyo kuanzia Ijumaa tarehe mosi Disemba ikiwa ndio leo. Waziri wa barabara na uchukuzi Kipchumba Morkomen pia amesihi chama cha wamiliki wa matatu kuhakikisha kwa hudumu wote wa matatu wamesajiliwe pasavyo na kupokea mafunzo endelevu kama juhudi za kuimarisha sekta ya usafiri wa umma. Tumpate sasa mwanahabari wetu Martin Mwangi na mengi zaidi. Nurkomen ameagiza mamlaka ya kitaifa ya uchukuzi na usalama NTSA kwa ushirikiano na huduma ya polisi kuanzisha msako dhidi ya magari yote ya kibinafsi ambayo yanawabeba abiria kuanzia Ijumaa hii. Waziri huyo pia amewataka wa Kenya kuwa waangalifu dhidi ya magari kama hayo ili kuhakikisha kuna usalama barabarani. I want to direct NTSA starting tomorrow morning to make sure that a public crackdown is done to weed out any private vehicles that are operating as PSV. Waziri huyo pia amehimiza chama cha wamiliki wa matatu kutafuta njia kuhakikisha kuwa madereva na makondakta wote wamesajiliwa na kupata mafunzo kupitia mpango wa maendeleo ya madereva. Hili waziri anasema litafanyika kwa kujidhibiti wenyewe katika sekta hiyo. Shida hiyo tulikuwa nayo tu kwa retesting ni pengine watu waseme fee ilikuwa juu na pengine inaonyoresha atlas. So we we'll have to look for a way through the drivers development program that you know there are other testing requirements that include uh, you might have been a good driver at the beginning of the year but you fail sick midway. You know you you pengine you become uh, hypertensive or diabetic they are they are very things that we must see. What we have agreed with the government we are going to register all all people who are working in matatu sector we are going to have a data of uh, conductors drivers the squad drivers and uh, even the tau tour in the in the in the stages and we are going to make sure that we train them and then we make them to be compliant with the rules of traffic Serikali pia iko katika mchakato wa kuweka kamera za ufuatiliaji katika barabara kuu nchini. Kamera hizo zitafuatilia kasi na aina zingine za ukiukaji wa sheria za trafiki na adhabu ya papo hapo itatumika. Kamera kumi za awali tayari zimeagizwa na zitawekwa kwenye barabara mbali mbali katika muda wa miezi mitatu ijayo huku mfumo huo ukitarajiwa kuanza kutumika kikamilifu ifikapo mwaka wa 2027. Martin Mwangi NTV <laughs>